guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a second video of my declutter series I am decluttering all of my face powders so we're talking face palettes powders bronzers blushes and highlighters there is a ton to get through so I'm gonna get right to it but before I do I just wanted to say hi I'm Caitlin if you've never been here before if you have been here before welcome back thank you for coming back and watching my videos I got some problems girl I should not have this much stuff stocked up and I need to get rid of some of it throw some of it out give some of it away donate some of it let's just go through all this stuff and I will do a little collection slash declutter video and let you know what I'm keeping and getting rid of let's get right into it so I do need to get rid of a lot of stuff but at the same time I'm mostly just trying to figure out I basically was just gonna clean all my makeup out and then I was like you know what I could film this and do kind of like a collection video because I've definitely been asked to do that before um so let's just get started right with the face palette so this is the anastasia glow kit and it's the one called sun dipped it comes with two shimmery highlighters and two shimmery bronzers this is really really nice i'm not a big fan of the highlighters but i do really like the shimmery bronzers and i'm a big fan of shimmery bronzers so i will be keeping this one would i suggest that you go pick it up i think there's a lot better bronzers out there and highlighters so speaking of the better bronzers and highlighters next i have the Too faced sweethearts bronzer this is my ride or die if i could pick one bronzer to use for a year straight and have no other option i would use this i hit pan on it a long time ago i'm picking at these little grids with a bobby pin you know what i'm saying there's like a little bit left on the corners and i literally just like get right in there buy it love it live with it kiss it live with it love it buy it next for my face palettes this is the becca apres ski glow face palette this is the palette here I don't give this one enough love and attention. I definitely need to give it more love and attention. I think that like I naturally will go for the opal, which is the highlighter here, which I love, but I definitely could use these ones for eye looks as well. So I need to be more versatile with it. I will be keeping this and I got it from my friend. So I'm so grateful that I got this and I love Becca highlighter. So I'll be keeping this one. Next, I have the Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Face Palette. It's a highlighting palette. Oh, it smells so good. So sadly, these two shades shattered in this this palette and I just don't reach for it for that exact reason these highlight shades are super pretty I do really like this palette but I will be seeing if anybody that I know wants it I'll clean it up for sure um, and then give it to somebody who wants the two pans over here just because I have other highlighters it is broken I don't reach for it a ton but I know that I definitely have people who would love to have these two so I will be giving this one away next this is the bronze booster um, palette by physicians formula it is a bronzing contour highlighter palette the thing about this is that the dark color is too dark for me the contour color is too light for me and then i don't really use matte highlight shades whatsoever so i will be passing on this one that being said it is really pigmented and easy to blend so i like that a lot next i have the wet and wild highlighter now i was always really really impressed with these highlighters this is the one this is blossom glow i will say that i really like the other highlighter by wet and wild this is what it looks like it is extremely pigmented they did a really really good job with the formula on this that being said I don't wear highlighters that look like this. I go for highlighters that look like this. So I will be giving this one away. Next, I have my Sweet Peach palette. This is a highlighter, blush, and bronzer palette. It smells like peaches. It smells so good. I bought this when I started my kind of peach obsession last summer, and I'm keeping it honestly mostly for the nostalgia of it. The highlighter in here is a really pretty peachy highlighter. I always forget to reach for it because I have another peach highlighter I prefer, but I will be keeping this mostly because I it's just nostalgic for me and I don't mind it kicking around. Next for face palettes, I have the Tarte Hamptons Weekender Palette. Couple things about this palette. I really like this because it's got some cooler toned looks in it. It's got cooler toned stuff going on in there. Um, that being said, I barely reach for it. I think it's more of a winter E kind of look I wear a lot of peaches a lot of gold toned highlighters it is a beautiful beautiful little palette I would suggest getting it if you are looking for something that has a bronzer highlighter and contour that being said Tarte also has the pro glow to go this palette I have really really worked through it comes with two highlighters a warmer toned highlighter and a cooler toned and then a matte bronzer uh, I really really like this little palette clearly I went through this one really really quickly so I will be cleaning this one up and giving it away next I have the Smashbox contour palette this is just like their regular contour palette and it comes with a contour shade bronzer and a highlighter this is really nice to have on board for me 
on board all aboard this is really nice i really do like having this one because i like having a matte option and if i'm going to go with a matte bronzer highlighter or contour option i will go with smashbox because i trust this brand more than I trust Physicians Formula, personally. All right, next into the bronzers, I'm gonna start with my Tarte Parkath Princess. This is what it looks like. I have hit pan on this. I talked about this in a recent Get Ready With Me. This has been my next go-to bronzer. I'm trying to work through this before I buy more of the Sweethearts bronzer. I don't know if I can do it. I just, you know, when you know there's something better out there, it's really hard to settle. Um, that being said, this is my runner up. Clearly, I don't feel the same about it, but it's, it's all right, I guess. Next for bronzers, this is the Sephora brand bronzer in the color Costa Rica. It's number six. And this actually, long story short, Tarte had Park Ave Princess. It was called something different. It was just part of a collection that I got. It was just like a little mini one. I loved it. I worked through it. I was sad though because they didn't have it anymore. So when I asked them what I should get since they didn't sell this anymore, they suggested the Sephora brand. If I hold them beside each other, they are fairly similar. And for that reason, I will be giving the Sephora one away. That being said, this is still really a good, it's a good option for sure. If you want something that costs a little bit less. Next for matte bronzers, this is my MAC bronzer. This is what I use as a matte bronzer. This is the bronzer powder matte bronze. It doesn't say any other details in terms of shade. And this is what it looks like. Again, I've hit pan on it. I use this pretty much every day. And I can't wait till I run out of it and can try something new. So I will be keeping this. Next, I wanted to try a drugstore bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. It's really, really light. It's not very dark. It's slightly shimmery, but it's honestly so light. You can't even see it beside the Tarte one. So I will be giving this away. It's really great, I think, if somebody's just trying to warm up their whole face. They have a nice big brush, a light hand, and it's just doing a little bronze action. But I would definitely not buy this hoping for a dramatic glow. That being said, I also had heard that the color icon by Wet n Wild, um, this is called Reserve Your Cabana. I had heard that this was a good setting powder. I beg to differ. It's really like super, super light. I personally did not love it. I will be seeing if somebody wants it. Lastly, this is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I had heard so many good things about the Butter Bronzer. This is what it looks like here. This is more so matte. It is also extremely light in color again can't really see it i don't super understand the point of it and because of that i will be giving it away that being said i did use this every day for the month of july so it's not like i dislike it i just i have another option and i'm trying to not hoard everything so i have the precious petals wet and wild i don't know why i showed you guys the other highlighter earlier i'm just all over the place this one i actually love i suggest that you buy it if you're looking for a drugstore highlighter look at that payoff for color it is just it is beautiful it is everything it is such a nice beautiful highlighter if you're looking for an affordable drugstore highlighter this is the one you are looking for i will be giving it away because i have two other amazing drugstore highlighter is by elf if you want something peachy this is called apricot glow i love this highlighter i put it on top of the highlighter that i wear day to day and this is what it looks like. It is a stunning apricot. It reminds me of the Becca Tangerine, I think is what it's called, highlighter. And it's just a stunning golden peachy apricot color. I love it. I will for sure be keeping it. And I suggest that you buy it if you're looking for something like that. Alrighty, next for highlighter, I have Becca Opal. Now I'm scared to open this because it has shattered. This is what all of my Becca Opal highlighters turn into, okay? Super, super frustrating. That being said, it was my absolute favorite highlighter in the world. This is what it looks like swatched next to the other two. But I now, I'm, I'm getting rid of this. I'm throwing it out because it's literally shattered. And I also have a full size version of it, which are like $40 or something close to that. And it also shattered. So I'm so annoyed. Becca Opal is beautiful. I do have it in my face palette, whatever. I'll put the full size one in my giveaway bucket. If somebody wants to deal with it, they can. I now have a highlighter that has given Opal a run for its money. I find on my face that this just looks so much nicer than Opal. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Highlighter in Whisper of Guilt by MAC. I'm going to put it right here beside this other one. This highlighter is just the absolute perfect shade for me. I love it. I wear it every single day. I really can't see myself ever needing a different highlighter. And I say that, but today I was at Sephora and rut row you know what happened i grabbed a little fenty one because i wanted to try it so i am wearing the fenty highlighter right now this is what it looks like it's so cute and um uh, i will swatch it for you next to the rest of these highlighters so you really can see i'm gonna put it next to opal right here 
And this also has really great color payoff. It's this one here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not a professional YouTuber or swatcher. This is Hustle Baby by Fenty. Definitely keeping this. Just got it today. This is so many words. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be fast. All right, on to blushes. So I'm going to start with my Tarte blushes. This is Tarte Exposed, the 12 hour Amazonian clay formula. Formula. This is Exposed. This is one of the first blushes I ever got from Tarte. This is the color Party and it has a bunch of A's on it, which is really cute. So these are the two here. I am gonna keep both of these. They're great go-to blushes. I don't wear a ton of blush, but I really like these two. So I will be keeping these two. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the color Rosé Champagne. I love this blush. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I have other options. That being said, this is a really great kind of apricotty, pinky blush. I think it's great, but I'm gonna give it away, but it does work really, really well. Next, second last here for blushes, I have NARS Orgasm. It's this one here. Everybody swears by this blush, and I don't know what the big hurrah is. I mean, I guess it's pretty, but I don't wear a lot of blush. I'm gonna keep giving it a shot, but I never reach for it. And lastly for blush, this is my go-to blush. I use this every single day. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush. If I'm going to wear blush, it's going to be this palette. It has three peaches in it. It's got like a nice, like a darker peach, a bright peach, and then a really nice light orangey tangerine kind of color. So this is my favorite blush palette and one I would suggest if you like the same colors as I okay we made it through i hope that i can edit this down to at least like 12 minutes hopefully even less but that is all of my highlighters all of my bronzers all of my blushes that is all of it i actually have a really good bucket here of giveaways these are all things that i am giving away and getting rid of this is my keeping so i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're enjoying my decluttering and collection videos i have more coming at you because i am going through all of my makeup and decluttering it so i really hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my channel thank you so much love you bye